all right so when it comes to batteries your cheapest option is going to be a lead acid battery and that's probably because it's one of the oldest types of batteries around in this application so i just want to provide you some basic information on the three different types of lead acid batteries that we carry uh, this would be the trace t115 6 volt 225 amp hour flooded lead acid uh, deep cycle battery it's the smallest battery that we carry and of course it's the least expensive now let's touch on some of the pros of this battery one of the pros is that it's very economical it's a cheap battery it's about a hundred US dollars per battery and uh, it's also very durable and they'll give you about four to five years once you service and maintain them properly which brings me to the cons of this battery would be the service and maintenance one of the cons one of the cons with a battery this size is that it will um, it will evaporate very fast the distilled water that's inside and therefore it, it requires servicing a lot more frequently than a larger flooded lead acid battery like the rose 4000 series uh, we carry the s6 the 6 volt 445 amp hours and we're gonna take a look at that battery here's the rose s6 this is also a flooded lead acid battery but it's physically a much larger battery which requires a lot less maintenance therefore i would consider this to be a low maintenance battery but it does need maintenance nonetheless and when i say maintenance i simply mean you have to top it up with distilled water or deionized battery water uh, every so often uh, for the rolls maybe about two to three times per year um, that's about every four months roughly and with the t115 trace you do that about you top them up about every two months so what you're looking at is uh corrosion due to the fumes coming from the battery when it charges and remember inside the battery is sulfuric acid and the water so therefore when the water boils it creates a fume basically a steam that's invisible to the eye however this is the result that that fume is highly corrosive due to the sulfuric acid inside the battery which is the main reason why your room has to be properly ventilated to get rid of that excess hydrogen that builds up when the battery is charging because we know that water is h2o the h in that is hydrogen therefore when it boils you are releasing hydrogen in your immediate surroundings and that corrosion that you're looking at is due to the sulfur so if you want to avoid the maintenance involved with these batteries and you'd want to definitely get maintenance free batteries and I'm going to show you what that looks like. So what Johnson is doing is uh, going ahead and tightening all the terminals on the batteries. These are maintenance free 6 volt 400 amp hours each. We have 8 of them so that gives us 48 volts at 400 amp hours. Rated at 50% discharge that would be the equivalent of approximately 10 kilowatt hours of storage. That's 10 kilowatt hours of usable power and what we are doing we're replacing some old trays these are 6 volt 225 amp hours maintenance batteries and we're replacing those with some 400 amp hours maintenance free batteries
So upgrading the batteries is pretty fast. Didn't take us 20 minutes. Take out the old ones and put the new ones in. So now our customer has maintenance three batteries and added capacity. JPS main breaker turn off. Looks beautiful. Hey, so you like the work? Yeah, man. Everything looks legit. Legit. Yeah, I have even more power now, my boss.